um sicher am You don't need to know a lot of knots to be safe in the mountains, but you need to have mastered certain ones so you can tie them automatically. So that you can still tie them safely when you're stressed, pressed for time or tired. The figure eight loop, the clove hitch, the munter hitch, the overhand knot, the prusik and the girth hitch are important for mountain climbing. The figure eight loop is our preferred roping up knot. It's simple to tie and simple to check. It's easy to untie after bearing a heavy load from a fall and offers a certain level of security. Even if a sling comes undone, you'll still be securely fastened. The figure eight loop can be tied using the traditional or follow through method. The difference is that the follow through figure eight loop can be attached directly to the harness. For all knots, it's important that they are pulled tight at all four ends. In alpine climbing, the figure eight loop is certainly the most highly recommended knot because it's simple to check it quickly at a glance. And the big difference for alpine climbing is that I normally only tie the knot once at the start of the climb and untie it at the end. And so I don't have to retie it for each pitch as I would in sport climbing. If I wish to tie in with the figure eight loop, I take a rope around 50 centimeters long. I make a loop, wrap the rope once around the loop, and then push the free rope end through the loop from the front creating an eight shape. Then I take the rope end for tying, thread it through both loops on my climbing harness, and feed the free rope end following the eight to form a double eight, with which I am now tied in. As for any knot, it's important with the figure eight loop that it's properly secured i.e. that it's not twisted and that it's very, very firmly fastened and pulled tight. We can also use the traditional figure eight knot to create a loop for roping up on glaciers using a locking carabiner or for when top rope climbing. When top rope climbing, attach the figure eight loop using two locking carabiners. With the traditional figure eight loop, I essentially do something similar to what I do with the follow through, even when using a single rope. I fold the rope over in two, make a loop, wrap the rope end once around, and then push it through the rope from behind, forming a small, compact figure eight loop. For all this, it's important that the ropes are nice and parallel, as this makes it easier to push the rope in the end. Because knots are very important for us, we need to practice them and they need to be tied cleanly, meaning they mustn't be twisted. They need to be pulled tight and the ends always need to be long enough. As a rule of thumb, the rope end should be at least a hand's width in length.